good y'all it's bull ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 hilarious wwe off-air moments now the cool thing about these off-air moments is it's always one of those things where the fans that are in attendance they get that that extra bit of entertainment that not everyone else gets to see obviously if someone records it and then post it to social media nowadays other people get to see it but back in the day it wasn't too many people recording it so a lot of times you just had to you know had to been there to be able to see some of those moments of course they're able to sometimes get the footage from uh, an off care uh, off camera moment or off air moment and you know it, it gets posted on youtube we've seen plenty of those uh those moments where characters are breaking care well wrestlers are breaking character and and having a good time with the crowd after the show is already off air you know and it and it's, it, it it's one of those things where it, it i guess you could say if you know about it or you've experienced it you kind of get to tell your friends and everyone else hey this is what happened after the cameras went off it was a cool little little intimate dope little moment and i think a lot of these moments happen at the house shows because they're not even televised so you can get some some memorable memories going to some of these events because they're doing stuff that they normally wouldn't do on television and you know it's kind of this that special moment like hey i remember when i went to this show and the undertaker said this after the camera went off you know what i'm saying so we're gonna check out some of these moments man it makes the shows that much better for the people in attendance appreciate all the love and support the video uh we're um the channel we're gonna be checking out is uh wrestling flashback if you haven't already subscribe link to the original video will be down below let's get right into this one man is this song the show's over. The Rock just has one question. You like pie? Kane loves pie. <laughs> Boom <-tang. laughs> Even after the show ends, cameras never stop rolling in wrestling. No matter if it's the TV or fan cams that pick up the action. I love you, man. <laughs> they each regularly provide us with some funny stuff that never gets shown on television. As the wrestlers loosen up and have a bit of fun. Why don't you give St. Louis a little gift and drop the people's elbow on this piece of shit? <laughs> we'll highlight a host of different examples today from unaired segments to fan cams as we look at 10 hilarious off the and this is what makes wrestling some so fun sometimes these little gems these moments not planned not meant to be seen by everyone just those in attendance it's fucking awesome, bro. I love it. Air moments caught on camera. Stone Cold is the king when it comes to hilarious off-the-air moments. Mm -hmm. The legendary beer bashes and stunner parties after the show made for some great entertainment. I gotta say... What? I wanna tell you... What? what? <laughs> I wanna just say... What? what? You got a microphone in your hand. Use it. The extra attitude segments on the WWE Network were pretty much designed to showcase Austin's off-the-air hijinks. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the rattlesnake always sent the people home happy. <laughs> the rock always says it. <laughs> Always oversold on the damn stunner, bro. <laughs> what the hell was that? Stone Cold was also oh, no stranger to a sing song this on is WWF great, TV. Man. <laughs> but one of his funniest performances occurred during the WrestleMania 18 press conference. This was during the height of Austin's hilarious heel run as part of the alliance. Cameras picked up Steve providing the Toronto crowd with a raspy and gravelly rendition of the Star Spangled Banner in what was a brilliant heat getting moment. Oh, say can you <laughs> see? <laughs> After blessing us with a few lines, Austin then broke out into some what's. Mother dog. What? <laughs> what? Steve certainly <laughs> loves to sing. The rattlesnake was oh, also man. known for busting out a few tunes for fans after the show. Mm -hmm. Wrestlers will often have the most Goated. fun at house shows, with no time restrictions or the need to progress storylines or angles. Mm -hmm. Live events are the perfect chance for talent to let loose, no matter <laughs> if it's the mid-card or the main event. 
Yeah, I've seen this one. I'm taking running the ropes, <laughs> trying to get into the match. We go back to the year 2000 for a star-studded tag match featuring six of the WWF's biggest players at the time. Taking place in Buffalo, New York, the wrestlers proceeded to run a spot you would never see them do on television. Mm -hmm. Earlier in the match, The Rock and Kurt Angle ran a crisscross spot that poked fun at how springing off the ropes works in wrestling. The bout also featured a unique counter to Rikishi's stink face. The finish came when Austin hit Angle with a Stone Cold Stunner, putting an end to a trademark fun house show match. It's always great to see Paul Heyman get his... It is crazy just seeing... That was just from like a person who had a camera at the time. Not everyone that had cameras readily accessible it's different now if they did like a house show or whatever you know what I'm saying or an off-air moment you know someone's gonna record it and they'll probably get on social media um you know fairly quickly but back then it was rare you, you just had to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that was there at the event and they could tell you or they could show you Something fans in London, Ontario were treated to after the February 27, 2003 episode <laughs> of Brock Lesnar was still out for revenge after Heyman had turned on Brock at the 2002 Survivor Series <laughs> and caused the next big thing to lose the WWE title. Lesnar and Paul were set to do battle in a cage back in SmackDown <laughs> for the week before they- I ain't gonna lie to you, seeing Paul Heyman catch an F5 will always and forever be- Chef's kiss hilarious. <laughs> it happened. Brock chased down Heyman and threw him in the ring. Heyman comically begged and screamed for help, but there was no escape and Brock wasn't willing to negotiate. <laughs> you can look at the footage, man. <laughs> Bro, he's screaming. Lesnar delivered an F5 to humiliate Heyman. <laughs> Next up, it's, it's always Heyman, good to see the aggressor, that. as opposed to the victim. As throughout 2022, Heyman mm -hmm. would attempt to fight fans during the post-show dark matches following Raw and SmackDown. That shit was I funny. Will not be in the ring. I remember seeing a bunch of these Paul Heyman clips during the Bloodline, like, like. Doing the bloodline like they're, I guess you could say their, their height of like them, you know, what I'm saying kind of just running the show or whatnot, and, and seeing the Usos trying to hold back Paul Heyman from quote unquote getting into it with a, a fan is always hilarious. I wonder if you know what I'm saying if Dub was at one of these shows, man. No Uso would have been able to save Paul Heyman. <laughs> A furious Heyman would run towards a fan only to be restrained by Jey Uso. Mm -hmm. Once he eventually calmed down, Paul would be consoled by Roman Reigns. It was comedy gold and a great treat for the live audience. This spot drew a good reaction and a lot of laughs each time. Bro, every time I've seen some of these clips, it, it was just like, bro, this is why they're the best thing on television. And uh, they're still the best thing on television for WWE. The Bloodline stuff is still that good. <laughs> <laughs> Heyman isn't the only one to hilariously oh, make a beeline for someone in the crowd. Triple H did the same before a dark match after <laughs> war in February 2005. The Hunter team with Ric Flair to take on Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton. Before the bout, the game noticed a vocal young fan in the audience. Helmsley proceeded to get in the fan's face, but the boy literally <laughs> bit back. Triple H then grabbed the chair before having to be restrained by referee Mike Kyoda, while Michaels stepped in and paraded the fan around ringside as the Cerebral That's Assassin awesome, gave bro. chase. That's awesome, After bro. After the match got underway, there was more comedy from the game, courtesy of an epic oversell. Mm -hmm. Go, uh. <laughs> this was followed up with a double flare flop. After Orton and HBK won the match, they celebrated and posed with the fan Triple H tried to fight. Next, That's we have awesome, another brilliant man. case of overselling. It started during the closing stages of Dean Ambrose's match with Baron Corbin from SmackDown. In Back when Baron Corbin was somewhat um, tolerable on WWE television as the lone wolf gimmick. 
in August 2016. AJ was Ambrose's rival at the time, so Styles tried to interfere in the match only to be crushed on the top rope. This was how the show ended, however Styles continued selling, to the point where he was still hanging from the ropes when the post-show dark match was set to begin. Each person in the bout interacted with AJ as hilarity ensued. <laughs> <laughs> That's a heel move. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> what the hell? Birthday celebrations That's, in wrestling typically involve a cake, which often ends up all over someone. No, 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 no. Oh, the coast of coast. Triple H experienced this cake. after turning 40 on July 27, 2009. After Raw ended, the cerebral assassin was honored on his birthday. The game was attacked with numerous cakes before grabbing hold of his father in law, making sure for both a funny and heartwarming moment. Wow. <laughs> The New Day have always made fans laugh thanks That's to the funny, group's man. magnificent charisma and hilarious chemistry. A testament to just how well they work together came during a WWE social media exclusive in 2015. It never aired on television, but if it had, oh, you can bet it would have been one of the Cesaro. funniest segments of the year. The three men completely took over what was meant to be an ordinary interview as they improvised for 17 minutes uninterrupted. They began by scaring off the interviewer, Brandy Rhodes. Okay, so earlier... <laughs> Bye bye, bye 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 that's crazy that brandy rose <laughs> I, I i didn't even realize she was uh she was uh working with wwe at some point that's crazy <laughs> bye 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 from there the three men spoke of their plans to win every title in wwe and somehow some way we gonna win that divas title too <laughs> New Day paused their antics for a second to allow Mark Henry and then a backstage worker to walk by before going right back to their usual shenanigans. We're going to somehow, someway win, win the Divas Championship too. Give like me something like a baby waking up real fast in the middle of the night. Oh! <laughs> they closed things out with Xavier Woods' catchphrase from his Up Up Down Down YouTube channel. Keep it tight. Keep it Keep it tight. That's my that's my line. This was the new day at their best, <laughs> unscripted and given free reign to be as entertaining as possible. They, they ain't gonna hear any of this. They better, they better. The they, they ain't gonna hear this. man in all of entertainment, regardless if the red light is on or not. As mm -hmm. long as the people are present, the great one is there to entertain. <laughs> now don't give the rock the finger. There's a big fat bald dude here. Give him the rock the finger. Get a shot of him. Get a shot of him. <laughs> Well, since Rock's baby left him, well, he found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Jabroni Drive at SmackDown. Samara. <laughs> <laughs> why Rock That's is known awesome, as the man. people's champion. The Rock can pretty much do whatever he wants. We ain't brothers, bitch. <laughs> The time he called CM Punk after Raw because the fans were chanting his name was proof of this. Wow. Hey, Punk, it's Rock. This is not a joke. I'm literally calling from the middle of the Staples Center with about 15,000 strong. That's crazy. If you enjoyed this video, that be sure dope, to check out man. our similar video, Tempers <laughs> Resting Injuries and Fails. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Oh, man, this was a great video, bro. This is This, to me, is what wrestling should be about. Entertaining having a good time being able to get yourself away from your everyday struggles your everyday issues and just have a good time watching some guys and women go out there and perform for you put on the best possible possible show they can for you and even when the cameras are off being able to have that extra little moment of 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 entertainment before you head back home it's, it's it's dope it's gonna make you remember this moment and you know you it's gonna make you want to come back to a live show i've never been to a live wrestling show i think uh, me and dub are gonna try to go to one this year because i definitely want to uh, i've always wanted to go to a, a wrestling show and i want to be in you know close to the ring and and really be into the action man just to see how things go so uh hopefully i can do that this year man but uh yeah man love these these off-air moments so comment down below let me know your favorite off-air wrestling moment it doesn't have to be wwe it can be any company where they were filming and then they stopped filming and then you know chaos ensued or something funny or hilarious happened let me know if you can remember one and also let me know to all the fans out uh wrestling fans out there that's actually been to a live show and was able to catch some of these 
off air moments that we've seen in this video or some other ones if you were there live and tell me your experience about it but i appreciate all the love and support grow 250k and i'm still going to be the youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace